What's going on, guys? SSJ Quinny here, coming at you with a Dragon Ball Super Episode 85 review. So, let's jump right into it. Now, before I tell you anything, I'm just going to have to drop a... Spoiler alert. With this review here, I'm going to spoil a lot of the episode and some of the preview for the next one. So, if you haven't seen this yet, I'd highly suggest you watch the episode first. If you don't want to be spoiled, that is. So, don't go crying in the comments if I spoil anything for you. You've been warned. So yeah, it wasn't the most interesting episode ever. It starts off, Goku and Gohan are flying after a little battle, and they can't find Android 17 because he has no energy. So Goku's going to go to Dende's, and Gohan's going to go train with Piccolo. And he's going to go to Dende's because Dende's a god he can see over the entire planet Earth. Hey, he's actually useful for something. Sorry, Dende. And then, long story short, the Supreme Kaisers are arguing about who's going to win this whole thing and which universe is going to be erased. And the Universe 7 one, who has the... Uh, Troopers, the, I think, I can't remember what they were called, the Pride Troopers, I think that's what they were. They're pretty much a Ginyu force that are, like, a good Ginyu force. Uh, Universe 11 says that they're going to win because the Troopers are just so strong. And we meet up with the new and improved Boo. He has been training like crazy, and he's a lot slimmer now. Mr. Satan says that he's been training since his last fight with that Basil person, training nonstop ever since. Then Goku and Boo get into a fight. It's a pretty good fight, but it's pretty short. Boo didn't realize that you can't kill your opponent, and if you kill your opponent, you actually lose, and you gotta get knocked them out of bounds. So, uh, yeah, Boo finds that out, and they have a little fight. And yeah, Goku says that Boo has gotten a lot faster and stronger now. Then Boo launches an insane amount of key blasts, like a shit ton right towards Goku, and Goku's stuck blocking them, and it's kind of blocking his vision, and Boo's just sitting there staring and staring and staring, and it seems like he's waiting for something. Then all of a sudden, Boo charged right at Goku, hit him a bunch of times, then grabbed him with his arms and stretched him and pushed Goku right into the ground. Thus, Boo won against Goku. See, it actually shows that Boo's actually pretty smart. He waited for a strategy. He waited as for Goku to be really, really busy blocking all the key blasts, and all of a sudden, when he couldn't see because there was a key blast in his face, he slammed Goku right in the ground and won. Goes to show Boo's not that dumb. He's pretty smart. And Goku leaves, leaving Boo and Mr. Satan pretty dang satisfied. And then Boo goes up a nap because he's tired as hell. Then all the God of Destructions are mad because Universe 7, Goku's universe, apparently started this whole tournament thing. But, Vado says, hey, y'all should be grateful to Goku because Zenosama was going to destroy the lowest ranking universes anyways, so that's the only reason people actually have a chance to still survive now, because he was going to destroy the universes. And, the uh, Pride Troopers also fought against a big monster, they're the Universe 11 participants, well, they're going to be, and this guy here in the preview I thought was Beerus dressed in one of their outfits, but this isn't Beerus at all, it's just someone that looks like him. You know, it was just kind of like a filler fight sort of thing, I believe. And also, Champa tells Kaba here, he says, we need more Saiyans. He wants more Saiyans to fight, and Kaba didn't really give an answer. He didn't say if there was any more Saiyans who could fight, so that's going to be interesting. Maybe we'll see some more Saiyans. And then we finish up the episode with Piccolo saying that, Gohan, you have a weak, like, jelly-like body now, and I'm going to retrain it. And then we have this picture of Gohan accepting, with his eyes looking really fucked up. And with the next episode, Goku's going to find 17, and it looks like they are tracking down some hunters or something like that because, you know, Android uh, 17 is a wildlife park dude now, so it seems like the next episode is just going to be some filler bullshit. Yeah, overall, I'm going to have to give this chapter a 5 out of 10. Yes, it was really cool seeing Goku fight Boo, but it seemed like a lot of this stuff was just filler, you know what I mean? And I know the next episode of Android 17 seems like it's going to be filler, too. I mean, why is Goku hunting down, like, poachers and shit when he should be training to save the universe? I don't know. just seems a little silly to me. Here's my problem with what's going on so far. Now... I think it's really, really cool how they're bringing back all the humans and stuff, but the thing is, is that I thought this was their opportunity to give the humans a time to shine, and a time to, you know, get their powers back up to par with uh, Goku and Vegeta. Well, not that far, but at least get their powers up a little bit. This was their time to make the humans shine, but the problem is, how are they going to make the humans shine when they only have, you know, like, 20 more hours or so to train? I don't understand. They can't get that much stronger in 20 hours, and if they do make them that much stronger in 20 hours, then that's just a bit of an ass pool, right? I don't know. That just seems a little bit odd to me. I really wanted to see Tien, Master Oshi, and Krillin actually do something useful, but again, I think if they only got like 20 hours of train, I don't really think they're going to be able to do much. Maybe they will open up the hyperbolic time chamber yet, I don't know. But it would be really, really cool to see them actually train in the hyperbolic time chamber and see them develop new techniques and get stronger, you know what I mean? Maybe even all learn the Kaioken or something like that. Wouldn't that be cool? 
Um, another thing I still find a little bit odd, I mentioned before that Goten and Trunks aren't doing anything in this tournament. Yes, I know. It was stated that they're not smart enough because they haven't fought along. But, you know, with a year in the time chamber, couldn't they learn a shit ton more? I mean, they got, they got a lot stronger in the time chamber in the, during the Boo Saga. Um, wouldn't Gotenks be a huge help? Like, I know Master Roshi is smarter than Goten and Trunks, but what's Master Roshi going to do against somebody who is as strong as Cell or Boo? I know Gotenks is going to have a lot more of a chance, even though Gotenks is not as smart, right? That's just my opinion, though. I just find it kind of odd. But I don't know. I kind of lost a lot of hope in the show with all the stuff that they've done lately, and I hope, I'm hope i really excited to see what the manga... Sorry, excuse the stuttering. I'm really excited to see what the manga is going to do. And that's all I got for now. Um, for those of you guys who support me and have subscribed to me, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. Um, comment down below if you liked this episode. Tell me what you thought about it, you know. That's all. Um, sorry if this review wasn't the most interesting ever. I just found this episode wasn't the most interesting, so I found there wasn't too much to talk about. But, you know, I gave it a try. Um, hopefully the uh, next manga chapter is really, really good, and hopefully the next filler episodes that I believe are coming up won't be too dull. Anyways, that's all I got for now, guys. Take it easy. Have a fantastic night. Bye-bye for now.